and obviously the next batch of eggs will be from the same parents but all right so right now we have a hooligan and one that was just there to be there it wasn't even useful I want the ferocious to be in here because we need more ferocious ones so this is the male muscle head female I think this is one good option let's see the other one that had was it this one hooligan brave that's another option Alright, so the male will have this one that is really useful, those two I don't really care about. And then we either do it with this female that has the muscle head which is really useful, so those two need to be together regardless at some point, or with this one that has brave and hooligan. All three of them have vanguard so there's a very high chance the, the vanguard will be preserved for the most part. I think I do it with Musclehead first, because Ferocious and Musclehead are, are like more important. And then this will be kept somewhat on the backlog, right? Just in case we need it later on. Yep. Alright, so these eggs are still from the same couple before. They're most likely not gonna give us anything impressive. But the next batch that will be from this guy who has the ferocious and then this one with muscle head ideally mm -hmm. we will either get just ferocious or just muscle head with nothing else or both of them together either with nothing else or with something else but like the easiest way to breed is to try to get them individually isolated so just muscle head or just ferocious that's the easiest way to build up But again, since we're gonna need 116 copies, it's perfectly fine to have failures along the way. Uh, shouldn't you? There we go. It does it. Good. Right, now more cakes. Because it's a little bit bugged, this animation should be on top of this little thing and that makes all the area around be slightly colder because these dark eggs need colder conditions. So when you give them the conditions, see the incubation speed is higher. Same thing why those need warmth and there's fires around them. Yeah, he's just like, he's doing the animation in the wrong place, that's all. No, he doesn't scrub the farms. The farms don't care about uh, weather conditions. Although probably they should. collecting in time you know what I don't care about those guys so we're just gonna teleport out again too much collateral damage cheater yeah well it's part of the game 
Ooh, that's a lot. Nice, 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 nice. Right, so now if we want to make eggs. The milk and eggs, we didn't pick it up, but there was quite a lot of it there, so we're gonna have a lot more. We do have berries, because we just picked that up, and then we just picked the, the wheat that needs needed for the flour. We should be able to make a lot of cakes after that flour is done. Unintended part of the game. Well, if they make the raids do less fucking damage to my structures, I'm gonna fight them properly. But until then, we're dipping. Cheater. No, see, the game is actually cheating me. We still haven't gotten the, the pistol schematic and we killed that guy like 35 times by now. How much free space? Still three files, that's fine. I can get rid of, of like of some of these ones that we don't use. But for now we still have a bit of space to work with. Now that Anubis is bugged. One of them is bugged. We're gonna just put them in and out to reset them. Oh it's actually this one. Yeah, okay. 29. Eon 1 was the problem. How's this going? Not bad, not great. Oh look, the raid is over. The enemy has been defeated. And it looks like they didn't even touch anything? Wow. That's great. Fine. Uh, we're also gonna start making salad because we should have enough of this. And the works. Just go max.
okay. Um, nothing else to do for now. They have to finish this, then I'm gonna use that for food in the... Um, that base, to help them make it faster as well. And then I need this floor to be finished, or at least more of it. So in the meantime, while that happens, we go and we fight Jormuntide. Also, I realized I didn't explore this area. We're gonna go there now. There's a... Uh, there should be Univolt there. I, I completely forgot I didn't even get him. But it's, it's not really important. I just think we should get it. Is it better to have it than not to have it? Uh, it's a little bit too dark. Hello, Jordi. How's it going? It's been a while. Pretty good. We're casually playing Hell World instead of getting mad and losing LP in League. How's the wife to be feeling? Actually, I don't even know if she's your wife right now or not, but how's the pregnancy going? <laughs> it's all good. Good to hear. Why is he bugged? Beacon. Man, are they all bugged? Come on, do I have to do everything myself? I refuse to use better balls. You're gonna get in this one. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh. Teleporter, Jormuntar, and Beacon. Skill tree first, apparently. I always collect the skills when I see the skill trees, but I almost never use them. Maybe I should use them. Well, obviously, on a pad that's actually worth it. How's the new season treating you, Jordi? Have you gotten used to all the changes yet? Uh, why is it so dark? I'm pretty sure there's more things that should be rendered. Super awkward. <laughs> awkward how? Well, I suppose the map changes is where you start, where you begin with the awkwardness, but... I got over it in like... Maybe 30 games or so. I, there's still parts I dislike about it, of course, but like... It stopped feeling weird after about 20-30 games on the new map.
They don't really have to bother dodging anymore with the new set of armor. It almost deals no damage to us. Karma beats me in mid when I'm playing Z. Or with an item, she can take me to half HP after pressing Mantra Q. I mean, that was always the case though. Like, Karma into Z should always be super heavily favored for Karma. And then the Mantra Q poke, again, kinda always uh, super, super strong. That's all the champion has to bring to the table, other than. Yeah. I guess the, the shield slash movement speed part, but. The whole point of playing Karma in lane is that Mantra Q chunks. Now it's so dumb with the new item, she does more damage. Ah, uh, Maybe? Honestly, I haven't played Karma with the, the Malignance. Because obviously that's what she's supposed to buy if she plays in lane. But I feel like the items are worse for her than they used to be. Because Leandri used to be so, so good if you played AP Karma. Just because you, you can just go utility or like whatever afterwards and your Mantra Qs will deal damage the entire game no matter what. Now with Malignance, it's a bit cheaper than Leandri used to be and it's probably stronger when you buy it, but it's way weaker for the rest of the game. And then you're kind of forced into actually going damage. You can no longer go utility. Okay, the bad part about this fight is that I have a bunch of fire pals and this guy is water, so we hope uh, Beacon can do the heavy lifting. The good part about this fight is that we have the shotgun. Yeah, that's a big opener. Fighting closer to the shore. This is the shotgun for this one. Uh, Beacon, would you mind using something? Holy shit, I'm fighting alone here. No? Oh, oh, I was just gonna stare it. Okay. Beacon is broken. It's okay, I can do this myself. I'm here, bitch. That's kind of enough, isn't it? Let's get him to load with the arrows. I don't know why he's bugged, I don't care. The shotgun will kill it, so just trying to get him low with the arrows. Totally valid kill by the way. Exactly as the developer intended. In the damn ball. Yeah. Legendary ball, 8 HP back bonus. Surely you stay in. Oh, fuck yeah. There's nothing more I can do to it. That's it, I'm not, I'm not touching that again. What? Stay in? What? Hello? Yeah. Oh, man. And we need to farm multiple of these, by the way. Dude! Stop getting out! 
It's literally the best ball in your 5 HP. Friendly reminder that basically every time I throw one of these is about 5 minutes of, farm of farming it. So this guy getting out of 20 balls, uh, yeah, that's more than an hour of farming. He's not even that good. Fucking finally. How many balls was that? Like 25? Yeah. Annoying. Right. Good. Uh, teleporter drop things at home. Uh, check back onto the dungeons. And I guess we, we can also make the Jormuntide um, saddle. Because we're gonna need to fight with it and it's better if we can control it as well. Huge frozen egg. Now rest. Oh, King Paka. Okay. That's even better. So the salads give a lot of nutrition and sanity and it improves the work speed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have salads as the main food of these guys in hoping that they start producing more slash faster. I'm not gonna use it here on the wheat but we use it here on the berries. And I, mean, I guess here as well. This is also berries. Good. Chip is grazing. I think one of these guys isn't. No, everything is good. Check on the stone amount. 6k, really nice. Most of that stone will be turned into pallium. can we make now? 44. Sounds good to me. Get these. 
go to the hatchery and make sure there's cake everywhere. Why are there no eggs here? Because one of them is bugged out, female followers. So we have six, make it ten. Here we have seven, twelve, we have twelve. Here we don't have any, now we have thirteen. And then here we have one. Next eleven. Mm. This one. What? Throw this one here. What's the time looking like? 40-ish, okay, 40 minutes. Good. Um, saddle. And in the party, oh, I guess Incineroar should get replaced, but I don't think Fadaris is quite strong enough yet. Sword skill, we're still gonna keep him until we get a few more levels into into Fadaris. Right now. The thing about uh, Jormuntide, he's in two places on the map, but they actually share the same cooldown. So we kill this one, we can't go for that one because that's on cooldown right now. Until he respawns, we're gonna go back and look either on this side of the side of the motor, but I think I go and check these caves first and see if they're up. Then I look here because it's a small area, then we look for this. 